girl, Candace Denise, and I'm back again with another video, another video. It's February, y'all. Aren't y'all excited? No? Well, I'm excited. It's another month, and it's another month closer to March. And you know what March is? It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Ow, my back. My back still hurt. But anywho, the countdown is on to my birthday, March 21st, and I'm so excited. I really don't know what I'm doing for my birthday yet. I still have to plan it. I think what I'll do is set aside some time one of these weekends to actually plan what I want to do for my birthday. But it's coming March 21st. Aries season on the way. Period. But as you can tell from the title, we are here to do a Q&A Valentine's Day style. Because, you know, February is the month of love. It's Black History Month, most importantly. But it's also a month of love. And, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. And I know what you're thinking. You know, Valentine's Day. Some people don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a day of love and it's a day of love not only for couples or people in relationships or people that are married it's just for you to show love to people that you love and care about so even if you don't have anyone on that day still show love to someone so i put a lot of questions in the bag i'm gonna shake it up And I'm going to answer the questions. Now, this is going to be a tipsy Q&A. Those are my favorite. And I haven't found a keto wine yet. I think I saw somebody in my comments. I got to go back. I'm behind. I'm so behind with responding to comments. I'm going to catch up. But somebody mentioned the keto wine. So I'm going to go find that. But for now, we're going to use Stella Rose. And Stella Rose actually only has about 14 grams of carbs in it. 14 grams of sugar. But today was a very, very light day. I didn't eat much just so I could have this wine. I know that's not good, but today is what it was, okay? So I'm going to be super honest, real raw, uncut with these answers. Okay. That's, and these are some random questions that I did get from the internet, but I didn't want to see them in order. So I was like, okay, let me do it like this. This be cute. Do you believe in the phrase age is just a number? Age ain't nothing but a number. Going down ain't nothing but a thing. So age doesn't really matter to me. It's all about your mindset. Like where your mind at? What, do you have goals? Are you working towards those goals? Are you stable? Stuff like that. That's important. What's your imagination of a perfect date? Perfect date would be a text hey i'm taking you out on sunday at eight be ready okay so you know get dressed up makeup outfit you know and go to like one of my favorite restaurants or maybe like go for a walk in a park or like go driving around looking at houses walking on the beach those are like my ideas of perfect dates. Like it don't have to be anything super extravagant. I like well thought out and well planned. That's what means the most to me. Do you believe in love at first sight? Now, when people see each other for the first time, like you're basically falling for the outer appearance. So I don't know if it's necessarily love. It could possibly be lust. But like you could feel someone's vibes and be like, oh, I'm just, woo. So it can happen. I think love at first sight could happen. Do you believe love can conquer all things? Love can definitely conquer all things. It's just there has to be two willing participants that want love to conquer all things. Like you can get through anything. When two people love each other, like you can get through anything. Like working together, building together struggling like it ain't always it ain't always gonna be sunshine and smiles but as long as you have a willing participant there to help you to work through everything yes love can definitely conquer i'm getting hot 
I don't drink like that no more. <laughs> I need a refill soon. Do you like to be in serious relationships or just entanglements? I would prefer a relationship because entanglements are emotional and draining and I don't have the time for it. Mm -mm. Relationship me, please. Like, skip all the games, skip all the BS. Let's get down to it. Have you ever been friend zone? So, yes, I actually have. I had a friend who had a brother, and like, I just thought her brother was so fine. But I guess I didn't move quick enough, or he thought I wasn't interested. So, like, we just, you know, we're cool. We would talk on the phone all the time, we would text all the time, we would see each other all the time, but. No one made the move, so he moved on. And then when it finally got to his attention, he was like, why you didn't say nothing? And he was like, I didn't think you was feeling me like that. Chum. That was an opportunity that was missed, but oh well. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm a firm believer of that, okay? Do you think people who have dated can stay friends? No, because it's too many emotions. It's too many feelings. It's, it's too much. Now, it don't work for me. It may work for somebody else, you know, especially like with people who like have children and they co-parent and stuff. Like I know it's some people they just can't stand their they baby mama or their baby daddy, but I don't think it will work for me. Do you think love can last forever? You can fall out of love with people too. So love doesn't last forever. Like, because I know some exes, uh, I definitely don't love them anymore. And it's, you know, it was a deep, deep love when, because if I'm with you and I'm, I'm all in, but if you just do too much, then mm -mm. it's like I, you have soft spots in your heart for them, but you just don't love them anymore. You look at them and you be like, damn. I dated him? Or a dog? What was I thinking? So I don't think love doesn't last forever. Like you can fall out of love. You can seriously fall out of love with people. How many people have you ever hooked up with? You in my business? Don't do that. <laughs> would you consider yourself a cuddler? Yes, I, I I definitely would. Um, for me, I just I just love love, and I love feeling love. Like, and it could be the simplest thing. Let's watch a movie. Let's sit on the couch and let's you know talk and. Just enjoy each other's company. Like, it don't even have to be anything that serious. Would you break up with someone your parents didn't approve of? Um, my mom isn't like that. She'll pretty much roll with what I say because she knows I have a good head on my, on my shoulders and I make really good decisions. But when it, if it don't work, if it do work, you know, she going to be right there. You know, I ain't really like that about him either. But I was just going with it because you was in love or you liked him or whatever like that. But she's not, I, I wouldn't be in that situation. Would you date someone who's well known for cheating? Well, you know, people act different for different people. So I'd always be like side eyeing. You got to give people the benefit of the doubt because everybody acts differently with different people. So, you may have this version of him, but when he get with me, I get this version of him. Because some people just tend to bring out other sides of people. So, you can't say just because he treated her this way, this is how he going to treat you. So. Do you think long distance relationships can work? Yes, they can work. If there are two willing participants who are equally willing to try. Mm -hmm. 
Are you the dominant or the submissive part in a relationship? So, I want dominant or submissive. Like, I'm pretty independent. But for my man, I don't submit. But I need my man to be a man. I need my man to lead. Lead and I will follow. Okay. Do you have a crush at the moment? Hmm. There is somebody I think that's pretty cool. I'm just trying to see, you know, what's up. So I guess the question, the answer to that question is yes. Do you think people should? Girl, I'm not. Wait. Do you think people should date their friends? No, that that ruins everything. Like I. Have, I have friends that I have been friends with since like middle school, elementary school. Do I want to date them? Hell no. Them are genuinely my friends. Are you currently in a relationship? No. Are you currently in a relationship? <laughs> What's one thing you regret saying or doing in a previous relationship? So, I think all my, my ladies, even my, my guys can feel me. Just like, you know, there's, how can I put this? God sends you signs. He sends you signs. Whether you recognize those signs or you are receptive to those signs are two totally different things. Like, you see them, we see them. But we just be like, and you know... <laughs> Be like, God, please send me a sign if this man is for me. And then he send you a sign. Okay, God, are you sure? He sent you another sign. Okay, God, just want to make sure. Like, are you certainly positive? Like, 100%. He sent it to you again. Okay, God, now I just want to make sure before I... He sent you another sign. All right, now, God, I know you said, but I know something. Okay, God, I understand. I'm sorry. I didn't listen. I should have listened, but I did listen. But I'm listening now. I'm sorry. What was what was even the question? Are you still a virgin? I'm 34 years old. <laughs> have you ever cheated? No. I don't cheat. Women don't cheat. Would you consider yourself romantic? Very much so. As I said before, like, if you lead, I'll most certainly follow. And my thing is, I want to feel special, so I make my significant other feel special, too. And that, that can be just small things, like picking something up that I see that I know you like or doing something because you've had a hard day, a hard week. Like, I'm very, very thoughtful and romantic, so... I need my match. Could you be in a relationship without sex? What do you notice first about another person? Because, I mean, at this point, we're wearing masks, so it would have to be like your clothes, your sh definitely your shoes, or your hair. Normally, it would be like your smile or your eyes or something, but most times, I don't even make eye contact with people when I'm in public. Like, when I'm out now, like, I'm just going in and out. Like, I don't even see myself going in and out the store. I'm just trying to get in and out because I don't want to get sick or anything. So. But normally it would probably be shoes or smile or something to that effect. What do you think about getting your partner's name tatted? It said partner, not my husband, so it's a no for me. How do you find, how do you define cheating? Cheating can be physical. Cheating can be emotional. 
Like, you talking to another woman or another man, you know? These days, the things are definitely different. Um, but, yeah, you could be talking. If you talking to another one, like, snapping, Facebooking, Instagramming, um, texting, talking on the phone, FaceTiming, emailing, TikToking, sharing memes. Sharing gifts, gifs, however you say it. Like, all of that's cheating. Physical cheating, kissing, touching, holding, having intercourse, all of that is cheating. To me, cheating is cheating. Emotional or physical. Do you want to get married one day? Of course. Like, I can see myself being in love, being swept off my feet. Walking down that aisle, have my song play. Seeing my husband up there at the altar crying. My bridesmaids crying. The groom's been fainting, you know. It, I can just see it like. Like to me, the ultimate part of being happy is having a family, you know, to turn a house into a home. Like. That's what I really want. I want love. I want to have a life partner, a best friend that I can share my deepest, darkest secrets with, that I can, you know, be with on a daily. Like, yeah. If you're single, why do you think you are? The reason that I am single, I don't know. Like, if people are running to, oh, I feel like my eyes are getting low. I'm single because I haven't met the man that God made for me. Like, and I know that he is out there. And if you are watching, husband, come get me. Please come pick me up. You got me out here in these streets looking crazy. Come pick me up. Longest relationship you've ever been in. The longest relationship I've ever been in was also the most toxic relationship that I've ever been in. It went on for probably about four years. Four whole toxic ass years. Okay. Which leads us right into... Have you ever been cheated on? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And is it a good feeling? No. Especially when you do all you can for people. But that's fine. You reap what you sow. <laughs> God gonna take care of you way worse than Candace can ever do. God don't play about me, Carisha boy. God does not play about me. What's your favorite love song? I have so many favorites. Like I'm an old school girl, um, so I like a lot of old school. I like, like a lot of new school. Faith Evans, Never Gonna Let You Go. That's one of my favorites. Mary J. Blige, Everything. Um, and like some new stuff I like. Um, Queen Naja. Butterfly Part 1 and 2. Jasmine Sullivan, her new CD. Bomb. Um, Lost, that's on repeat right now. That's definitely a bop. Because you lost. And that's on what? Mary Had a Little Lamb. Now, it may not be a traditional love song. It's a gospel love song. Jonathan McReynolds, Loving Me. That song speaks to my soul like out of all the mistakes I make everything God still loves me so child don't have me in here about to preach like no matter what I do no matter what decision I make what turn I take no matter if I listen or not he even say the pimple on my face you still love me that's the kind of love I want that unconditional love God gonna send it to me. He got he got one hole. He got one, what they say, a ram in the bush waiting. How important
important is it to make a relationship official on social media? I don't need social media validation because the last relationship I was in was I was in it for like two years and never posted him on social media at all. Um, so it isn't necessary for social media validation, but I do feel like you know it should be known that you're in a relationship with this person. But I don't think you have to validate. Like I, don't, you see your ups and downs, and then you take an L, and then it's like, yeah, I don't. I'm a. It's crazy. I'm a public person. I'm a very sociable person, but at the same time, I'm a private person. I don't know. It's weird. Are you jealous of couples when you're single? Not at all. I love love. Like I love to see my friends happy. I love to see my family happy. Like I genuinely root for them and their happiness. And it just gives me hope and confidence that my love is on the way. I think I done got a little tip for y'all. Would you consider yourself clingy, overly attached, or jealous? Neither. Like, what's mine is mine. If we're in a relationship, I'm yours, you're mine. And I just ask that you respect me. And one, the worst thing you can do to me is lie to me because I'm going to figure it out. And it may not happen right away. But it's going to come together in my mind. I, I have the worst memory ever. But I can, I'm always triggered by different statements. So you may say... I went to the store yesterday and I went home and went to sleep. Two months down the line, you may say something else. Oh, you don't like this store. And I'm thinking to myself, but you said, okay, I don't have no proof. But then four, five months later, you say something and it all connects. So wait a minute, you lied. Is that crazy? It's not crazy. It's just, I'm, I read into stuff. Now you're not gonna lie to me. Cause I'm thinking that. <laughs> What's more important, looks or personality? Child, personality, because it's a real fine, real, real, they fine, fine, fine. But their personality is trash. Like, when I say trash, trash. Trust and believe me. I know for first hand. I would take personality because you have someone fine. Their personality is trash and they treat you like trash. Because they feel like trash. But it's neither here nor there. I, I personality wins for me. What's the most important part of a relationship? Um, I think communication is one of the biggest pieces because like you could be feeling some kind of way and then you treat that person some kind of way and then it just triggers into a whole big old spill of things versus you just communicating, saying how you feel and then that person has a, a deeper understanding for the why of things and then you know how to kind of tread. Do I need to tread lightly? Do I need to do something to cheer you up? Like, communication is just everything. It really is. How many relationships have you had? Real relationships? Probably about five good relationships in my adult life. What's more important, your partner or your friends or family? So, when I'm in a relationship, like, I think it's a, a even match. Like, you have to be able to give time to your partner and devote time to your partner because that's who you're with. But then you also want to make sure that you're well balanced and that you're there for your family and your friends as well. Like, and even integrating the two. Like, if you can hang with both of them at the same time, that's the perfect mix. But um, your family was definitely there before your partner was there. But when you become married... Then it kind of switches because it comes, it goes to God, your spouse, and then, you know, everything else after that. So, it just depends on where you're at. What do you consider a deal breaker? A liar? Bad hygiene? Like, that's the worst ever, like, sit next to a grown man that's fame. 
And I know a grown man, or I know nobody want to sit next to nobody that stinks. Man, woman, woman, man. Woman, woman, man, man. Don't nobody want to be up under nobody that stinks. Have you ever changed for someone? I think when you're in a relationship, you don't necessarily change, but I just feel like sometimes you figure out, oh, I'm not always right. So there's things that you kind of flex your style to your significant other. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's all about compromising. And basically what you're doing is compromising to make sure that your partner is happy and that you're happy. It's not necessarily changing yourself, it's compromising. How do you know when it's time to end a relationship? After you've done all you can, you just stand and get the hell on. Like, you know when enough is enough. Like, you know. No one can tell you. You just got to feel it in your heart and know enough is enough. It's time to move on. And that's that. Only you'll know when it's time. Have you ever been deeply in love? Yes. Deeply in love. Deeply and madly in love. It's a yes for me. And that's a beautiful feeling to have. I just love love. Have you ever broken someone's heart? I don't know. I can probably, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Um, because I haven't stayed around to find out. After I've given you chance, after, when I finally decided that it's time for me to move, I'm going to move and then that's, that's just going to be that. So I don't know if I broke that hard or not. Which famous couple is your favorite? Mmm. Like, I don't idolize any couple, really, because we never know what's going on behind closed doors. Because people can show you what they want you to see, but you don't always see, you know, every aspect of them. But a couple that I really like is Sierra and Russell. And I'm still waiting on the first CC, so if you're watching this, I hope you're watching this. If you could send us the prayer, Russell. If you could also send out that prayer as well to the guys and girls who need it. Do you believe it's possible to fall in love on the internet? So I do believe it's possible. I know someone specifically who met their significant other on a dating website. Um, I want to say it was like Christian Mingle or something. And they're still married to their husband to this day. To this day! So it is possible. How is your relationship with your ex? I don't know. It ain't there. Exes are exes for a reason. That means move on. Because I am. When you're dating someone, do you believe in going on breaks? Ain't no break, okay? Like, if you feel like you need a break, then you feel like you don't need to be in a relationship. Like, a relationship is a relationship for a reason. There's no breaks. We is together. And together is we. Like, I do feel like, you know, in a relationship, every... Each person should have time with with their friends, with their families, so that they can have their own identity. Like, you should be able to hang out with your friends and go do things and go to the movie, go out. You know, have your friend time, have your family time. But you're still in a relationship. And if you need a break, you're going to get a permanent break. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't condone domestic violence, okay? No domestic violence. But, y'all, that's all the questions. And I feel like it was 13,725 questions because I'm as tired 
and I feel like I'm a little tipsy. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope some of these answers that I gave y'all to these questions kind of resonated with y'all. Um, That's real raw, uncut, you know? Giving you a deeper side of me because I know a lot of y'all always want to know more about me outside of the fashion, outside of the keto, outside of the trips. You want to know me as a person. And if my husband is watching, come pick me up. Okay, I'm waiting. Pick me up, okay? Because <laughs> it is ghetto out here. Earth is ghetto. But anywho. And remember guys, February is the month of love and it's not just about love from your significant other. It's the love of your family. It's the love of your friends. And just think of how blessed you are to be in a position that you're in. Because there's people who are struggling or doing way worse than you and wish they were where you were. So just keep that in mind. And make sure, of course, that you like this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And most importantly, make sure that you have your notification bell turned on so that when I post a video, you will know. You will know. You will know. Like, this is, I'm really lit. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if no one else has told you or is going to tell you, Candace Denise loves you. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.